In this lecture, we will discuss about drawing the refracted ray by geometrical construction. Let us say we have an incident ray that is coming from rarer medium and going into a denser medium. So let us say rarer medium is air and denser medium we have glass. Air has a refractive index of 1 and glass has a refractive index of mu and it is given that mu is greater than 1 that is glass is more denser than air. So this is the incident ray, this is the interface let us say incident angle is I so I is angle of incidence we want to draw refracted ray so what is our task Now how we will do? Let us first draw two concentric circles with center as O. So this point is center. These two are concentric circles. One is radius A, another is of radius B. So A is the radius of inner circle. and B is the radius of outer circle. And these radii are in the ratio of refractive index that is A by B is equals to 1 by mu. So we have drawn these circles so that the radii are in the ratio of refractive index. So radius of circles are in the ratio of now to draw the refracted ray let us make a perpendicular from this point on the medium interface boundary. This perpendicular will intersect the outer circle at this point. What we have to do? We have to connect this point and this point. Let us call this point as M. So we have to connect O and M and this will give direction of refracted rays. So basically OM is the direction of refracted rays. We can basically prove whether our construction is true or not. If this angle is I, then this angle is also I. No, this angle is I. So this is opposite angle. So this angle is I then this angle is also I. So this angle is also I because this is alternate angle. Now this angle is angle of refraction. Let us call this angle is R. If this angle is R then this angle is also R because this and this are alternate angle. Let us call this point as N and this point we have M. Now we can call this point as P. So we are interested in to write sin I and sin R. So let us first write sin I. Sin I is equals to distance O N 
divided by distance OP and OP is nothing but radii of inner circle that is A. Similarly we can write sin R. Sin R is again ON divided by OM. So OM is equals to radii of outer circle that is B. Now you see if I apply a snail's law we can write 1 into sin i one into sin i is equals to mu into sin r that is sin i by sin r is equals to mu so if i is somehow able to prove that sin i is equals to sin i by sin r is equals to mu then our geometrical construction is correct so we are interested in to prove sin i by sin r this is equals to mu that is from geometrical construction So we have sin i, we have sin r, we can divide that is o n by a, o n by b that is b by a and b is nothing but radii of outer circle and a is radii of inner circle and we have used that a by b is 1 by mu. So a by b is 1 by mu so b by a is mu by 1. So from here we can see that is sin i by sin r is equals to mu. So this says construction is correct. We can also have a case in which ray is incident from denser medium to rarer medium. So let us say we have this case this is glass refractive index mu and this is air refractive index 1. This is incident ray. So this time again we construct two circles by taking this point as origin inner circle has a radius A outer circle has a radius B and radii A and B are in the ratio of refractive index. So A by B is 1 by mu. Now let us extend the incident ray. This time it will cut the outer circle at this point. We can draw a perpendicular from this point to the medium interface. So this is interface. If you compare in the previous case we have taken the inner circle and then we have drawn the perpendicular and then it cuts the outer circle but this time we have taken outer circle and then it intersects the inner circle let us call this point is point M then we can connect point O and M 
to get the direction of refracted ray. Refracted ray is in the direction of OM. So let us connect point O and M. So this is the direction of refracted ray. This is incident ray. We can again prove that the construction is correct. Let us say this angle is incident angle I. So then this angle is also equals to I. This angle is R, angle of refraction. If this angle is I, then this angle is also equals to I because these two are alternate angle this is R then this is also equals to R. Let us call this point is N. If I apply a snail's law we will have mu into sin i is equals to 1 into sin R that is sin i by sin R is equals to 1 by mu. This means if my geometrical construction is correct, we should be able to prove that sin i by sin r is equals to 1 by mu. sin i by sin r this is equals to 1 by mu. Now let us take this triangle triangle O and M. So in triangle O and M we can write sin r this is equals to O n divided by O M and O M is nothing but radii of inner circle that is A. We can write in triangle let us call this point is P O P M. Sin I is equals to O N divided by O P. and OP is nothing but radii of outer circle that is B. So from here we can write sin I by sin R and this is equals to ON by B divided by ON by A. So we will have A by B but we know that A by B is nothing but 1 by mu. So sin I by sin R that is 1 by mu. And the same thing we have to prove that is sin I by sin R is equals to 1 by mu. So this suggests our construction is correct. We can also have a special case when light is incident from denser to rarer medium.
so refractive index mu refractive index 1 radii is a outer radii is b this is incident ray and angle of incidence is i now if we try to make geometrical construction this time for refracted ray so let us consider the incident ray if it is extended it will intersect at the outer circle at point M now if I try to draw perpendicular from here from point O to this medium interface it will simply touch at one point so this time perpendicular to medium interface will touch only at one point and this is a case of total internal reflection so this special case belongs to total internal reflection so if I draw refracted ray this has to pass through this point so this means we will have this is the refracted ray so this time i is equals to critical angle theta c and refraction angle is r that is 90 degree angle of refraction and theta c is critical angle that is also angle of incidence so this is the last point when we can draw geometrical construction after this we will have total reflection so if i is greater than theta c we will have total internal reflection so in this lecture basically we discussed how to draw refracted ray using geometrical construction method